guys, so before we start today's review for the Endurance Racer Chase Race a lot, I'd like to briefly clarify some things about how these color shift paint jobs work. I've been pretty confused for, uh, throughout my last few reviews. I was pretty confused uh, during my reviews of Lightning and Jackson Storm because I didn't really know what they were referring to with the color shift. It's been a week since my Jackson Storm review and I have gotten some information. I figured out how these guys are supposed to work. The color shift, and I'm pretty sure I made a joke about this in the McQueen review, um, but that joke I made ended up being what the color shift actually refers to. Depending on how you hold the car, the color appears to be a bit different. And you can see this in my review. I think I do it by accident, but I didn't even realize it. It's very subtle. Um, but depending on how you hold the car, the shade of color appears a bit different. Like here for lightning, it's a bit lighter moving but it appears a bit darker for Jackson I think it's much easier to see um, you hold him like this he appears lighter and then you move him you turn him he becomes a darker color definitely pretty interesting these cars are really interesting um, but yeah I just wanted to clarify that before I started today's review just clear up any potential misconceptions this is what the color shift paint job is referring to and once again I'm gonna say it I think that was horribly advertised on the packaging no explanation as to what it meant it's a very subtle change uh, at least on lightning it is jackson you could tell a bit more but you know with the color changers there's this not the color changers well yeah with the color changers they explain to you how the color change works with the lenticulars back in the day they would say look my eyes change here it just says next gen color shift paint job and they don't really tell you what you're supposed to do to shift the colors Anyway, though, with all that out of the way, now we all know what the color shift means, so let's move on to today's review. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the RS 24-Hour Endurance Racer Chase Race a Lot with the next-gen color shift paint job. Chase was a pretty cool inclusion for this series. He's one of the next-gens that has not yet been featured in the XRS, although we did get a Beach Racer variant. I'm not really a big fan of... Uh, constantly giving the same next gens all these variants like there are a ton of Paul Conrad's I on my shelf have four now the regular beach racer rocket racer and color changer and then there's the uh, bumper save racing tractor which technically is uh, a variant of Paul I think there are so many next gens who get so many variants it's nice to get one for Chase who doesn't have that many compared to others although bubble wheelhouse I always group Chase, Ryan, and Bubba together because they all appear basically in the same scene in Cars 3. They were all cameos. They were all released at the same time. Uh, Bubba Wheelhouse surprisingly doesn't have any variants. Anyway, though, let's take a closer look at this guy. Of course, we have that very nice artwork of Lightning and Jackson, presumably in the RS Speedway there, which we could assume is some sort of Radiator Springs Speedway for RS for Radiator Springs. Have the nice logo up there with the stopwatch design. Lightning is using some edited Cars 2 artwork to make him look as he does uh, on the diecast. But unfortunately, Jackson is just using his regular old artwork. They didn't change his color or anything. Which is a shame because they went through the trouble of changing how Lightning looks on the packaging and then did nothing for Jackson. We've got next gen color shift paint job, but I think we've spoken enough about those today. Unfortunately, whereas most of the other Expanded Universe series over the last few years have had unique uh, things molded into the sides of their uh, bubbles, the sides of the blisters here, this series doesn't have anything. They easily could have molded in the stopwatch, but they didn't. Instead, it just has a sort of uniquely shaped uh, blister. Moving on to the back, the description is harder, faster, sleeker. The 24-hour race is on, and these next-gen racers are ready to push themselves to the limits. You can collect them all. Again, I love how it's not collect them all. It's you can collect them all. It's, it's just a suggestion. We've got Jackson, Chase, JD, and McQueen. Of course. So, let's get this guy out of the package, and I'll be right back. So, here is Chase out of the package, and he has an awesome color scheme. I really like how this looks. Not many cars are this shade of green. There are so many green cars, especially green race cars, especially uh, green next gens. And this version of Chase stands out from them all. And as you can see, the color shifting has him be a lighter color. 
you move them like this, and a darker color when you move them like this. Lighter and darker. And then lighter and darker, you get the point. Um, he definitely appears a bit brighter in real life than he does on camera though, I'm pretty sure. But the color change effect, or sorry, color shift effect is the same. I will say though, I'm not really a big fan of the colors for the spoiler compared to the rest of the die cast. It doesn't really match with the rest, but the rest of the die cast looks awesome. I absolutely love what they did here. This dark green works really well with the white and with the traditional Chase race a lot designs. You've got your typical Chase expression there, basically your typical next gen expression, nothing too special. Vitaline for older active cars. On the side we have these white wheels. You've got piston cup, combustor, carbon cyber, and synergy on the side. It's just your traditional Chase Race A Lot logos. 24, this little white section on top and on the side. Of course, one of the biggest changes for these guys is what's written on the spoiler instead of the traditional logos. A stopwatch with the RS 24 hour logo. Unfortunately, um, unlike the XRS where they really go all out with making sure the car looks completely different, like all their logos are replaced and they're decked out with XRS logos and race specific xrs logos these guys aside from lightning just get the logo on their spoiler and the rest of them is basically the same aside from the color unfortunately we've got the vitaline v back there with the gas cap and the 24 and vitaline logo and a very nice touch of not including chase's rookie stripes jackson didn't have his rookie stripes either which is a really nice touch showing that this takes place after the events of cars 3. There's the other side, and there is the base. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow, I probably won't be doing a review, since tomorrow is September 1st, it's the start of a new month. I will be doing my monthly Cars Diecast haul, and then we'll be back to reviews on Wednesday with this guy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.